Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape. Today, as you can see, the Chaos Bringer has arrived, and as promised, we're going to open it live on tape. Helping me today is none other than my daughter, Maddie. So, let's cut the tape. As you can see, we're not in the basement. We're in the living room because I thought we'd have a little more uh, light up here. So, before we actually open this, we've got a couple other things we need to open. I just want to show this off. I found this finally. It's the Optimus Prime Pop. It's the giant Optimus Prime Pop. But we've got something very special to open beforehand. Can I help you Yes, you can. Yes. So these are Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventure Tiny Turbochargers. I didn't know these existed. I found these at uh, Target, and uh, I didn't know these were a thing. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna keep one sealed right now. All right, Maddie, pick one. All right. All right. We're gonna keep this one sealed. All right, Maddie. So you're gonna tear off the top. We're gonna see what we got. Oh, special appearance by Ripley, the dog. <gasps> purple! We got purple, yes. Actually, Is it a girl? we've got Shockwave, not a girl. And I, I think these, technically these things transform. Yeah, they do. See, it's in on the paper. All right, so we have Shockwave, which is like a clear purple. All right, we're gonna put this, here's Shockwave next to uh, the Unicron box for scale. There it is, I'm sure you can see that on your high back TVs at home. All right, so we're gonna save the instructions. All right, but this, this we'll put over here. All right, I'm gonna open one. Big money, we've got um, Wild Wheel. No, this one's not a girl. Wild Wheel is a new character in Cyberverse. I really enjoy the character Wild Wheel's uh, aesthetic. I haven't seen the show. I don't know if Wild Wheel's in the show, but uh, it's a cowboy and it wears a cowboy hat. And he's got a bandolier. And for that reason alone, I like Wild Wheel. Uh, the arm popped off here. It's a ball and socket joint. Yeah, let me just uh, pop this back on. I don't open big one. You know who's probably in the big one? Yeah. Who? Um, this one. Optimus Prime. Uh -huh. Um, let's see. Oh, Wild Wheel, there we go. Wild Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a eye full of Ripley's tail. All right, go ahead. Who do we got? Let's see. We've got Optimus Prime. We've got Prime of Optimus. So he comes in vehicle mode. So far, they've all come in. So far, they all come in vehicle mode, uh, except for Shockwave. But he's got one of those weird transformations, like. Is he transformed? I don't know. Oh, actually, Optimus broke. Optimus broke right out of the package. He broke. Wow. This is a uh, clear plastic, so it's uh, it's very fragile. Is he a chase? I don't know. He's on the packaging. 
This is, this is the part of the cab that flips over and then he turns into a truck. So, Optimus, the most recognizable out of all of them. All right, let's open it together. Three, two, one and a half, one and a quarter. All right. Who did you get? Oh. Did we get the same guy? Yeah. We got the same guy. We got Thunder Howl. All right, so you can keep Thunder Howl if you want. See, I'll show you how to transform him. There he is. A gorilla? No, no, no. He's a robot. He's a wolf, and he turns into a robot. A wolf robot. Yeah. Well, he turns into a humanoid robot, I guess, because the wolf is still a robot. Okay. All right. So, let's cut the tape. Can I open it? So this is the Haslab nice. Unicron. Uh, I brought out my special knife instead of old yellow. Did you, is that the one you sharpened? This is the one I just sharpened. Yeah, it's important to have sharp knives. Now, knives are not toys. We're going to be very careful with the knife. All right. I don't want to cut cucumbers with it. So okay. Use it. You know what? I'm going to let you make the first cut. Why don't you come over here so the camera can see it? I'm gonna make lit. So we're always cut towards our enemies, not towards ourselves. Boom. Cut. Now this is just the shipping box. And there's another box inside. All right. So, so Maddie, you should stand over here because you're in front of the camera. Is anyone home in there? Is anyone home in there? All right. This is the second box. So, we open the box up, and it's a very plain box. It says Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. It doesn't even say Unicron on the box. So we've opened the first box, unlike the Castle Grayskull, or the Snake Mountain, or the uh, katana from Star Wars, it's just a brown box. We didn't get a fancy box. All right, so I think what we'll do is, we'll turn it around. Turn around. So, of course, we're going to save this box. We're going to throw any of the boxes out. All right. But here's the box. Transformers Unicron. I'll show you all the sides. It says Unicron on the side. It's got his head on the back. Unicron on the other side. And it's got, it's got Cybertron right over here. Hang on. Hang on. Hey. It's my turn. All right, it's got handles on the side so you can pick it up. It's pretty heavy. All right. All right, now very slowly, just glide the knife. Beautiful. Hang on, Maddie. Hang on. We have our, what I assume is our instruction booklet. It's good. I'm sure there's a million detailed images online of this. Uh, looks like the instructions are actually in color. Very muted colors. So, very muted colors. 
highlighting in green the part that you should transform. All right. Just want to see the first page if it talks at all about it. Just says 27 inch tall robot mode, 30 inch planet mode diameter, 50 points of articulation, 16 pounds. The Lord of Chaos. The Planet Eater, the Chaos Bringer. The Lord of Chaos, Chaos Bringer. That's repetitive. Unicorn, Unicron stands alone as the most menacing figure in Transformers lore, capable of devouring entire worlds and civilizations. He debuted in the 1986 film Transformers the Movie, and his insatiable appetite nearly brought the entire universe to its knees, but his legacy transcends both time and space. And there's a quote from Unicron. I have summoned you here for a purpose. Nothing about how this was made or why. I mean, you could write a whole companion book on that. And then it just kind of ends nonchalantly with stand removable. And then there's another quote on the back that says, you underestimate me. It's got a quintesson ship, which does not actually come with the item. All right, so there is a flat piece of cardboard on top. We're gonna take that out. All right, and here we have inside, this is what it looks like. So it's got two straps. There is, these are the outer wings. Not the best sign, but there's a loose piece in there. This says A. Bag A, bag B, another wing. And then we have our stand. This is just the bottom of the stand. All right, Maddie, come walk this way, not in front of the camera. So after we remove those three bags, we have this. So now we've cut our straps down. There's some random barking in the background. That's what happens when you film in the living room instead of the basement. All right, so I removed. This was the part that actually held all these. So here we go. So now we have our styrofoam insert. I'm going to remove these two bits, which were holding the bands so the bands wouldn't actually cut into the styrofoam insert. And Ooh, first layer of styrofoam is removed. I am about to gaze upon Unicron. Brilliant. Brilliant. And here is the inside of the packaging. So, here we go. I'm going to start removing the pieces. This is the other part of the stand. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. It's a lot bigger than what I see on uh, a lot of people's galleries online. Let's see, we have another bag. This is bag C. These are the smaller components that actually fit around the ball section of Unicron. Or planet mode, sorry. Ooh, I'll save that for last. All right, we have bag D. Now bag D has a bunch of little panels in it. It's got a piece of the clear stand. I see the Autobot shuttle inside of it. Uh, let's see, I can kind of see the, yeah, I can see the little figurines that come with it. Boy, they are just minuscule. And here we go. Truly a glorious thing. 
bag E, all right? This is the head of Unicron. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's, it's, it's truly beautiful. So it's got the little tab on the back to move the eyes, but you can't really see the eyes move with the faceplate on. And that just leaves us with the planet. Here we go. Oh, it's a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Very, very heavy. I love the weight. So there it is, that is the front. Set them down right there. Little piece of styrofoam on them. All right, so one thing I do want to show you now, this is the inside, but this right here, at the, you can't even see this. This is a little plastic dome that fits into the styrofoam and it's got a little handle on it so you can pull it out if your Unicron is stuck. This also prevents Unicron from actually digging in to the styrofoam. I wonder, yup, sure enough, there's one plastic dome on top. I'm gonna lift the styrofoam out of the box just to see if there's anything I missed underneath. where the handles are so it tells you how the styrofoam should fit exactly. These correspond to the handles on the outside of the box. All right. So where do we get again? I think what we're gonna do is, no, I'm not gonna play with the turbo chargers. We're here to play with Unicron. Page one, page two, page three. Assembling. So it appears that underneath the stand, you can store extra components. So like the extra face, the extra jaw, these all fit into the stand. And then, uh, Looks like, all right. What it looks like and what it actually does can be two different things at times. So we have our bags, E, C, D, stand, A, B, and stand. So let's go ahead and open the front, the large stand. Three. Here we go. All right. Obviously, we're not going to throw these away. We're going to keep them, but we'll put them to the side for now. I was about to comment how much I like the fact that I don't have to cut the tape on these bags, but this tape is so tight on this bag, I actually do need to cut it. Otherwise, it would rip the bag. This this is a heavy duty thing. This this is this is heavy duty. Examine these. They are screwed together. Excellent. So, just like that. Now, will it come apart? It will. Excellent. 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's a big stand. That, that's a big chunk of plastic right there. Now I'm expecting this to be able to hold them up in planet mode and robot mode. I've tried to remain review free. Now, there appears to be another component, a lid that goes onto it. Yep, we're gonna have to cut this back. So this is bag D. And in bag D, we have pieces of a clear stand. And I'm only gonna take these out to show you right now. So we have an extra piece of the stand. Now this locks into place here, just so this top part won't come out. If you take this out, the top part will come apart, can slide off. And if you're not careful, you're moving your toy around, they can come off. That's pretty ingenious. What I don't like, the, these are covered, right? This is just hollow. This is just, it looks like scaffolding. Not as clean a look as the base. All right, so we have a little bag and these are our extra components which would fit underneath the stand. So we have our faceplate which is battle damaged. So if we want to have the, the head flying around, we can put the battle damage head. And it's got the alternate chin. Now in the Transformers uh, animated movie, some of the test animation was combined with the final animation, giving Unicron's face two different chins. So he comes with the solid chin here with the gray tab, and he comes with the spiky double chin here. Now these components, perfect, almost perfect. There you are, one and two, very easily. Well, I spoke too soon. There we are. These fit into the bottom of the stand. Not the safest place to put them, I think, if you're gonna pick it up, walk it around, because you can drop these, lose them. If you're going downstairs, you could fall through a stair if it's not a finished uh, staircase. You can step on these. So we're gonna put these to the side over here and find a better solution. This is the ship. You can't see it. I'm too far away. But this is the ship. This is a tiny turbocharger. It's the same size. It's the same size as the tiny turbocharger. And it's painted. It's it's a solid yellow piece and it's got one, two, looks like it's got five paint apps on it. Oh, it's actually glued together. So it's two pieces, a top and a bottom, glued together. It's got a little peg in the bottom of it for display. Excellent, excellent. I assume that has to do with some of these. All right. So, facing forward, we take our Unicron. There's a little, little piece here of styrofoam. Just wanna see something real quick. Now there is someone I, I've seen online who's 3D printed a yellow part here to cover up that blue. I may need that. So, I mean, this thing is gorgeous already. It's got the, the two doors that you see in the animation, uh, but they're 
they're static, they don't move. It, it would have been a nice touch, probably a little difficult engineering wise to have them open and shut, but Hey, I've, I've waited all my life to have this. So complaints, all complaints are gonna be minor complaints at this moment. All right. It's not telling me to open any part down here. It's just telling me to put it on the base, which is not. Okay, so there has to be a more solid way of putting this onto the. Unfortunately, the instructions are not clear. This is the bottom. There's no specific slot. I guess that's it, but. Well, it's definitely not backwards. It's telling me to put it this way. And it's just telling me to lay it down like this. See, that's just gonna fall off. tell me in the instructions how to mount it to the actual base. Nope, nothing on the back. definitely have it right side up. I mean, I assume it's right side up. Yep, that's, that's gotta be the top. So this is the bottom. anything on this toy. All right. Oh, there it is. So, this piece folds down. It does not tell you that in the instructions. It doesn't tell you to do that in the instructions. All right, step five. We're gonna open up the top.
All right, this is what it's saying to do with the instructions. The horns come out, which it doesn't, no, I guess it does tell you to rotate them. Now, before we put these back up, we need to get a kind of cross section of them. If I had smaller hands, I could fit them all the way through. See, you see the wall? Now, it's telling me, well, it's not telling me to open bag C, it's just telling me to attach these components. It's not telling me to attach all of them. It's not telling me to attach some of them. There's no words. It's just step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. So step nine, it's not even clear if I'm... All right. So I had a look to step 13 to see that it's actually this piece and not this piece with the O-ring attached. And these are... These are rubber, these bend. So I'm going to attach one here. I'll attach the other one. Try to do this so you can see it. Here on the camera. All right. Now it's telling me to fold these back up. Piece, like it just wants to fold in on itself to transform. Alright, so I'm going to show you what I'm struggling with. This piece pops into here. Very reminiscent of Armada Unicron, actually. This, this one component. I have a slide from downward approach. All right, so that's done. Now, these circles here, we're going to attach these. So I'll do the one facing me first so I can know how to do it. See exactly where these fit. However, these probably should have been done before we closed it. So, all right, now that I know how to do it, I'm going to come to the side facing the camera. We have to kind of it's a very snug fit. And because they're rubber, they're not going to peg in the way they necessarily should. All right. Looks like the back is uh, 
held together with one of these clear rubber bands. I'm just gonna attach that. All right, before we go on, everything's a snug fit, everything's in place, okay. All right. Now it's telling me to plug up the hole. So we just put these spikes on. This is the hole where the wings attach. All right. We're gonna secure this to this component. And that's where these parts come in. So, Again, it's not telling me to look for the slot, but there is a slot on the ring to slide it into place. Again, there are no words, it's just instructions. I guess they're accounting for international fans. And on this side, it's upside down. So on one side, it's facing down, the other side, it's facing up. Alright, so now we've attached those. Our ball is still solid. Alright. We're gonna move the planet to the side. Because now we are assembling the wings. So I'm going to take bag A, and the instructions are the same for bag A or bag B, it just says bag A, bag B. Let's see if I can open this without cutting it. One, two, and three. And I don't know if that's a mix up or what, but there's a bag A inside of a bag A. I mean, I guess it's, are they worried these are gonna protrude through the plastic? All right, so we have one piece, two piece, three, four, and five. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean up as we go along, all right? So, go back to your home. Take our tape out. There's a piece of cardboard around this one part. It looks like we can't remove it without cutting it. There we are. Another reason I wanted to do this on tape was because I did hear one story, another piece of cardboard, about someone opened their Unicron and there was a piece broken. One of, the, one of these wings. So, so far, so good. We are going to play with this gingerly. And yes, I did say the word play because it's a toy. But this kind of transcends being a toy as well. This is, I mean, this is a piece of art. That's really what it comes down to. It's a piece of art. All right, so section A, and again, it's not being particularly clear what piece, well, I guess it, it's clear enough for me that I could understand what, what piece I need to get. That is a very tight fit. 
Just want to double check that, okay, I do have the right parts. If they are facing the right way. That's a solid piece of plastic here, otherwise that would have snapped. It's definitely solid. All right. Now, we're taking this piece. Nope. Well, yes. Well. Okay. This piece connects to this. And do I want to take it apart? just to see if I can. You know what? That's tough. I don't I don't want to try risking that. All right. So now we have piece 25. Which or step 25 rather. These are big. Uh, these are big. These are big wings. All right. So that's that's one. That's one. It's a hula hoop. Let's move on to bad B. All right. So it's not a fluke, there's a bag inside of a bag. Clean as we go. Hey Casey, you wanna get in on this? Good talk. slide off. Excellent. And this piece we will cut. So there's only one set of instructions for uh, both A and B. All right, so let's follow this again. So now we're going to have this. Yeah, and yeah. And I'm wearing a white shirt, not because it accentuates my gorgeous physique, but because you may be able to see the parts against my body if, rather than if I were wearing a different color shirt. Hopefully they don't get washed out. All right, so that, that. So this slides in and then there's a peg here that connects to a peg hole. And that locks in place. So now we'll take this. Take this. Lock that in place. We're taking this piece and this piece. I'm just very nervous doing this. All right. And now, connect one and two. And we have a ring. Let's see. We got a big ring. 
It's huge. All right. this over here. There we go. Kind of weird how that fits. And now there are words. It says, planet eating jaws are geared to open so the vicious planet eater can devour unassuming worlds. Open and close his planet mouth. So, these just move by themselves. We turn this to open and shut. And there it is. Planet mode. It's glorious. Converting, convert and bring forth the mighty chaos bringer. Now, one thing I'm going to do is save. I'm going to save the transformation of the robot for part two. But I am going to take the time to just try to see it's a reverse angle how well. Kind of does look like a puckered anus. All right. All right, so the stand will hold it in robot mode. And then it tells you, it gives you instructions on stand removal as well. But I want to go ahead and just assemble the mini stand and the head. Now these components, okay, these go in robot mode. So I'm gonna take the mini stand. for the ship, the Autobot shuttle. Boom, fits right there. You know what, the titanium's arc, I think that might be the same diameter of hole that it could fit there. 
there's another hole here that you could put another one of these ships. If only they had created Yabachon ship. That would have been perfect. And there's another hole here to put another one. Maybe that's coming soon. Let's go ahead and take out the face or the head. So this is the head. Jaw opens and shuts. It's got a neck, it swivels. How does the face plate come off? What are the rules? What are the rules? Excellent. Easy peasy. So now you can see the face, or you could if I had better lighting. The tab on the back of the head moves the eyes right and left. The jaw comes off, easy peasy. We're gonna replace it with the battle damage faceplate. Which, it's a nice touch, it has the eyes blown out. So you actually can see the, the eyes underneath rotate through the clear plastic when you move the switch in the back. We're just gonna replace the other face, the chin here just for, just for giggles to see what it looks like. I got a feeling we got to do this before we put the face mask on. I'm off book here, okay? So I'm not looking at instructions on this one. Yep, you got to put the chin on before you put the face mask on. You put the face mask on, and then it looks like this just, does it slide in or put in? Oh, yep, there you go. Whoa, I am Unicron. And there it is. Tiny shockwave, Turbo Master shockwave right on top. Well, we had fun, it was cut to tape today. We cut some tape, we opened up the Chaos Bringer Unicron. I'm surprised they didn't call this masterpiece figure. But here we go, planet mode. Uh, next week, we'll do robot mode. So thank you very much, stay safe. I'll give you a few moments, ah, to bask. Right there, and there it is. All right, see you guys.